Hey, what's going on guys? It's King Intensity here, and in this video I'm going to show you some of the settings, video effects, and render settings that I use when I edit my videos in Sony Vegas Pro. So um, the first thing you want to do when you open up Sony Vegas, obviously you want to start a new project. So I'm going to show you kind of what project you want to select. It's not that too hard, so click New. And um, so this video clip that I have right here is actually 720p and not 1080, so I'm going to select 720. So the one I would select is HD 720p 60p, so 60 frames per second. If you guys have 1080p, you can change any of these settings, but um, this is what my video is set to. So um, don't need to change any of these, and you just go ahead and click OK. Now I'm going to drop my gameplay into the Project Media tab, and then going to enlarge this. Okay, now I'm going to drop this down into the timeline. Now before you do anything, any video of any kind, what you want to do is you want to click on your video, you want to right click the video and go to properties. And now you want to disable resample just because um, if you disable resample, it'll, your video will look a lot better. I'm not exactly sure what it does. I think it has to do something with frame blending and really for gameplay videos you don't need that. So just disable that and you want to click OK. Now, um, I'm going to show you some of the video effects that you can use to make your videos higher quality. So um, if you go over to this tab over here, it's called video effects. Um, one of the ones that you can use is called color corrector. And so um, I have the Black Ops 2 preset for color correction right here. So look at the gameplay right here while I drop it in and you can see how much better it'll look once you put it in there. So yeah, it ju it's just the... Um, overall picture looks a lot richer. It brings out kind of the orange, yellow, and red colors that you don't really see in um, the actual video itself. So it brings out a lot of the colors. Looks a lot nicer, I think, in my opinion. So um, when you're doing editing the color corrector settings, you don't want to mess with the low or the high. You just want to mess with the mid. And so these are the settings right here that I have for Black Ops 2. Um, also, I have my saturation set to 1.2, so you can use these settings if you would like to. You can change around a bit according to your video. Um, really, color corrector, you have to look at the video and say, like, there's already a bunch of red and yellow and orange colors in the video. You can um, add a little bit of blue and just kind of, like, see which looks specs for you. But I feel for Black Ops 2, these are the best settings, so that's what I use. Um, something else you can do to add more detail to your video is you can go down to the sharpen effect and I'm going to show you this in a second. So here's Sharpen. Um, I have a preset for Black Ops 2. So watch the um, uh, image over here while I drop it in. So you can see it adds a lot more detail to your video. It looks a lot nicer in my opinion. Um, I have mine set to 0 0.266. Um, you can change it according to your video. Um, don't have it too high or also look kind of pixelated. Um, so I have mine for Black Ops 2 set to 0 0.266. So um, you can use that if you'd like to, or change it according to your video. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. So now I'm pretty much done with this, all the video effects and all that. So you can edit your video, but eventually you're going to have to render your video. So I'm going to show you the render settings that I use. So you want to go to File, you want to go to Render As, and um, you want to look for Main Concept AVC slash AAV. And then you want to scroll down in this tab, so you want to click the drop down you want to scroll down and you want to go to Internet HD 1080p or 720p so either one of those whichever one you're using um, so I'm this video is 720p so I want to click on that I already have a custom template and I'm going to show you the settings so um, so you're going to want to use this one and you want to hit custom template but um, I already have the custom settings here so I'm going to show you what settings you have to tweak in that to make them better quality so here we are in this um, of course you want your frame size to be 720p or 1080 depending on what your video is um, you want to check this allow source to adjust same frame size and you want to set the profile to high now your frame rate you want this at 30 frames per second doesn't really go any higher for this video um, allow source to adjust frame rate you want to have that checked and you want to put um, non -pro progressive progressive scan on sorry I can't talk right now but um, number of reference frames should already be two just if it's not just set it to two now your variable bitrate, you want to select that and you want to um, set your maximum to 10 million and your average to 8 million. And encoding mode, um, so if you have a really good um, graphics card, you can actually say render to OpenCL if available. So that means it will use your graphics card to render the video. If you have a really good one, it will render it really fast and it's kind of nice, but I don't have a good one so I just use my CPU. 
um, enable progressive download. So that's it for all the video settings. Um, you can pause the video anywhere if you want to copy these down, but I'm going to go ahead and go to audio. So the audio settings, of course, you want to include your audio, your sample rate you want to have at 48,000, and your bit rate you want to have at 384,000. So those are all the settings I have right there. And so I'm pretty much done with this. After this, you would just, um, of course, name your video, whatever title you want. You want to click on your settings, so I'll click on this, and then you would say render. So then you're done with your video. You can export it, share it to YouTube, Facebook, you know, whatever you guys do. I don't really know, but um, so I'm pretty much done with this video. If you guys want to drop a like, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you would like to. I do lots of gaming videos, do a little bit of Black Ops 2, some Battlefield. If you guys like that kind of stuff, you can go check out my channel, but I'm pretty much done with this video, so I will see you guys later.